All right, so you guys might notice something that was here is now missing. The uh, big red track's gone now. Track is being loaded up onto its new home. Super Bravo. excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get it done. Um, so I need to focus on getting this one done. I am going to start tonight doing the plaster cover and see how far I get. Have plans to work on it for, I don't know, a couple hours, I guess. And so I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it. But first I'll show just kind of the details of how I do it. And then um, the rest of the stuff will go in time lapse. So it'd just be too slow for watching me put plaster on every single piece. So anyway, I'm gonna get going. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut a bunch of manageable lengths to this. If you make them too long, it's just kind of a pain to deal with. So I just try to pre-cut some, and then I'll just soak them one at a time. Let's cut this one in half. No, I don't need definitely more than that, so I'm gonna open up another pack. Once I uh, start dipping these in the water, you know, getting the scissors, these all got messed up because I only cut like four or five and then my hands would be all wet and goopy and then I'd grab the scissors. So I'm gonna try to be a little cleaner this time. So the guy who bought my track was the guy who came, drove a few hours from up north to check it out. His name's Pablo. And um, he, what his plan is, is to open up a, a shop with about four of these tracks, not necessarily mine. He said he made one as well as mine. And he's going to kind of rent out time, I guess, on it. And so people can go in, especially in the winter when, you know, it's snowing and freezing outside. People will be able to come in and check it out and mess around for a little bit. I don't even know where feel like starting, but I think I'll just go on this guy here. You know what, I think I'm gonna go try to wrap it, I think. You know what, forget that. I'm gonna do that with smaller pieces. So if you don't keep it straight, it's gonna start getting all tangled up and stuck together. It's not with my bad. First one down. Well, it's been a long time coming to this. I'm gonna go around this area because I'm thinking about cutting more of an arch so I can see into that slot. So. That was my other camera. That's not good.
some of the areas I'm working on. Sorry about that. So again, I just use a little slightly warm water and I run it through and then I flip it over so the wet sides on top kind of soaks it down. And that's just me, I don't know if there's better ways or whatever, but that's the technique I've been using for that last big track and now for this one. So it seems to work well. I'm kind of curious too, what do you guys think about, you know, the um, track, like going to a place that has like a micro crawler course, would you guys go do that? Would you rent and try it out and stuff? If it was in your area and if you lived in a, you know, snowy winter place like this place. That's something you would do. I'm curious, so leave your comments and I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. All right, that's probably enough of slow mo, or it's not even slow mo, regular mo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to. Time lapse. Okay, I don't really know how much time passed. An hour, two hours, not sure. But I went through that whole pack of the wider stuff. I still have some of the thinner stuff. And you can see how much I did cover under here and stuff, up here, over here, started a little bit of the V-notch, a little bit on this side. And on this side, a few pieces. But man, I got, I got a long ways to go. Man, I, I need to pick up a placer sponsor or something. <laughs> I, I am going to contact a company and see if I can buy some bulk because it's kind of expensive, kind of pricey. But it makes such a good finish that I don't want to skimp on the quality of the finished track product. So... Hopefully uh, that worked out for you guys and I will probably do some more tomorrow, uh, use up what I got and I got to order more. So it might take me a couple days before I start again.
uh, thanks for watching. I wanted to share a look, few clips with the Cayman to see the obstacles, see how they're doing. There's going to be some challenges. So it should be pretty cool, exciting track when we're done. And thanks for watching.